Today's puzzle is brought to you by the internationally local Qualcomm Corporation. Please see your nutrition label for more details. So a fence post in Minecraft will automatically connect to other blocks or fence posts that are placed next to it. This means that a fence post actually essentially has 16 different shapes it can have at any given point, counting rotations as different from each other. So fences that are connected to one other block, fences that are connected to two, to three, to four, and the lone post not connected to anything. I was asked two questions about these fence shapes, and those two questions together are the puzzle. Question one is, can you find a way to link together the 15 connected fence shapes so that you use each one exactly once? And spoiler, so pause now if you want to give this a shot on your own. Here's a shape that does that. You can check for yourself. We got the four you know, sided connection, each of the three sided connections, the two sided, the one sided, you get the point. And then here's another solution. This one kind of looks like a dollar sign to me. That brings us to the second question, which is which of these fence linkages can you fit together so that they perfectly fill a single layer of blocks? Or in math terms, we would say which of these tessellate or tile the plane? As an example, um, we have the dollar sign shape here fitting together seamlessly with itself in a pattern that you could extend in any of the four directions as far as you want. So because wood fence and nether brick fence and iron bars don't link to each other, you can make your uh, shapes out of that when you fill up a layer. Otherwise, you know, if you filled the layer with just the same kind of fence post, you just get a perfect grid, which, you know, doesn't solve the puzzle. I should say, too, that there are linkages that have holes in them. So this actually gives you an opportunity to use that lone fence post because you can take these uh, linkages with holes in them and then fill the hole with the lone fence post of a different type of connecting block. So here, you know, we're filling the iron bars with the warped fence and we're filling the warped fence with the iron bars. So we're still not leaving any gaps or blocks. and. You could almost think of uh, each linkage as coming in two parts, where the first part is, you know, the main 15 block linkage, and the second part is the lone fence post. It's up to you how you want to interpret this problem, if you want to include the lone fence post, if you don't, if you want it to be just one part, or if you want your linkage to come in three or four parts. Another option is if you want to use different orientations of your shape. So for instance, uh, this pattern I showed with the dollar sign shape, all the dollar signs are facing the same way, and they're all upright. Uh, where there are, you know, shapes which can't fill up a single layer of blocks if you keep them all locked in the same orientation, but can fill up a layer of blocks if you also use them flipped on their sides or flipped over. So also up to you if you want to use just one fixed orientation of a shape or if you want to be able to shift around and turn it as you try to fill a layer in with it. This video is just to state the problem. Next week, I'll put up a video with some solutions. If you're watching this more than a week from when I record it, that video will be linked here. My name's Chris. I wish you luck, and I'll see you next week.